third time I'm recording this because I just feel like it's not going well at all. Basically, what I'm trying to do is take whatever I did last time and then bring it into here on how to develop your Kalpana Swaras. Um, but first of all, I know I have two hands free. And that's because people in my family congregated together and they were like, it's not good behavior how you're holding a mic in one hand and holding your computer on the other hand. Let's just get you a new mic that you don't need to hold. So now I have two hands free. And what do I do with that? I don't know. Um, also, I'm wearing this cool nail jewelry that I got from an Indian jewelry designer. And it's not obviously not sponsored, but I feel like it gives me some kind of edge because currently my edges are a sphere. And as much as I would love to be cool, I am mild at most. Uh, so I'm hoping this gives my circle a little bit of a sharp edge. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Um, yes, so today I thought I would continue on how to develop your Kalpana Swaras. How do you get, how do you, how do you use these, your color palette? And how do you paint a beautiful picture? How do you do a Picasso picture? How do you do the Sistine Chapel on the ceiling by, with your voice? How do you take this and make it sound like the professionals? The professionals that we all aim to be like. Um, so, uh, again, I am just going to be using Khaza Khaza Priya, I'm going to be using Rupa Katalo, I'm going to be using my own song that I'm currently trying to develop Soros for as an example, because it is absolutely not necessary for me to do in Adi Talo. That is an issue that I don't need to add to my list of issues already. Um, I'm not going to add any more things into what I need to do. Rupa Gantala is easy as it is. So I don't want to add in any five more issues into that list. Um, I'm going to use Kaza Hala Priya because that's what I am developing at the moment. This is different because usually teachers will write down swaras for me and I just memorize it. But this time, this time I have to do myself. I have to develop these swaras by myself. And I think my teacher wants me to do a little bit of improv on the stage and that is terrifying. So Kalpana girl, you are giving me some problems. So the only Kalpana I know is from Gajani, you know the one she they bashed her head in. That was that was terrifying. That was terrible and I didn't like that and yeah, so all the Kalpanas I know are a bit of a annoyance to my life. Uh, so let's figure out how to solve this Kalpana. I know the, uh, the other Kalpana, she can't be saved, but, you know, it's just a movie. But anyway, let's go with this. So what do I do? What do I do with this? Um, I have basically been trying out, like, so for example... You have Sirigama, and you keep that, and you just do like four or five different in one Avartana. And you try to finish in Ma, because my song starts, the Chandam starts in Pa. So Paluku Paluku starts in Pa. So I need to finish in Ma so that it seamlessly transitions into the song. So <sighs> let's go. I'm so tired already. I had two meetings today i d barely talked in those but i have been talking for like half an hour because i have been re, -re doing these videos and i'm tired and kalpana she's stressing me out so let's go uh so i have one two three four five six seven seven swaro spaces to fit in my swaros in my first avatana so i'm gonna start with sa and i'm gonna try to come up with as many um, variations with sa that I can do f just surrounding sa. So I can go the nisa riga if I want. I can go sa riga ma. I can go nisa riga. Whatever. Try to keep it as minimal as possible so you're not going all the way up and down. So, 
and I, uh, I will be making mistakes, just pointing that out. And if there is a mistake that I hate, I'm just going to go back because you have to make mistakes. If you don't make mistakes, then that's your problem and good for you. So, so let's go. Paluku, paluku, laku, wuku, bene, loluku, marta, la, 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 do, wuku, paluku, paluku, sari, gari, gama, paluku, paluku, ni, sari, gam, ni, sari, gari, gama, paluku, paluku. Sorry, I started with ni, I was supposed to go, so, so, Sani Dani Sari Sani Sari Gama Paluku Paluku Sari Sari Gama Paluku Paluku Sama Gari Gama Paluku Paluku Sani Dani Sari Gama Sani Dani did I do two originals? Oh my god, I'm not even sticking to my own thing. So, so ni ga ji ga ma pa lu ku pa lu ku. So that improv, amazing. So I came up with a few that starts with sa. I mean, there's not really much you can do in terms of patterns in one avasana but if you can do it then good for you i mean i'm can't do it at the moment so i'm just doing what i can do so you know you don't have to go sarigama you can always do sama for example you don't have to keep to like in order you don't have to go a b c d or whatever so then once you have a few in one of Sena starting with Sa, you can then go into Ri. And then if you like anything that you're doing, you can just write it down. Or if you're listening to someone and they have something that starts with Sa or Ri that you like, you can just take those down. So I don't have anything at the moment because I am doing all the one of Sena with my teacher um, impromptu. So you know, I just don't write them down. It's just all in my head. So uh, <laughs> that's what. So then we go into ri, and we can stay in that same ri, sa, ri, ga, ma, pa. You can go, you can go. Uh, I think at the moment I'm trying to keep it at around four, just so I don't go too away from where I'm supposed to end. Paluku, paluku. Risa, risa, riga, rima, paluku, paluku, riga, sa, rima, riga, sa, riga, sa, riga, ma, paluku, paluku, rima, ga, riga, riga, ma, ga, riga, ma, ga, ma, paluku, paluku. So that, and then you can go into ga. So I'm just going to do like four or five proper ones. If they're not proper, I think just start again from the very first dalo, and you're just going to keep going until you do it and i know i haven't been following it but you should be putting your thalo consistently Ma, 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 ma,
You're just gonna keep going because that's when you know how good or bad you are. And probably you're gonna be bad, but that's okay. What can you do? Pasta, pasta ni da pa ma, pasta ni da pa, pasta ni da pa ma pa loku pa loku, pa ma ga ri ga ma pa loku pa loku, pa ma ga ri ma pa loku pa loku, pa da ni. I don't know if that's allowed. Then he's a need of a mapa loco paloco. Then he need of a man. Then he need of then he then he need of a madama paloco paloco. It's gonna sound ugly. So, I was trying to basically keep it with that four allowance. So now, if you kind of got four or five with each um, starting strava, you can move on to two. And this is where you can kind of bring in more pattern types. So you can go... I don't think Sagari is allowed only because I'm going into a different Zaga. I'm going into VD Zaga. But, but when I made this mistake, I was like, is there a relationship between Kala Hara Priya and Riti Gaula? And yes, of course there is. That's why I keep going into the wrong one. So be careful that you don't go into the wrong one because you might. You never know. And so once you kind of figure out, like, your section that you want to stay in. Pa pa da ni sa pa da da ni ni sa sa ni ni da da pa pa ma ga ma pa lo ku pa lo ku. I think it's really helpful that I have this. Honestly, I don't want to toot my own horn that I came up with this. I know people are like, why can't you just read it off like the book and stuff? Well, if you can, then good but these are my glasses i have astigmatism i have eye issues um but that's not the problem i just like having it big and spaced out so that i can kind of see where i need to go um but next the hard ones when you have to do those long ones where you kind of hover around one note that is where it gets ugly and you know you have the good the bad and the ugly this is the ugly one i think I feel like the bad is the second color. The good is like first color, one of it, you know, good. 
get that over and done with but there's also possibility for it to go wrong but let's go to the the one where you have to hover around so for this struggle i think you are allowed to choose any one that you want to hang around so i usually go for the or ni neither or sa and when you're doing this the f when i first showed my teacher what i had come up with i wrote some stuff and i was missing out on the characteristic and the personality of the gargoyle so you should have some of those pauses and like the for example ni 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 the bomb when you have like you don't go ni 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 the bomb you just have to add a bit of the soul the soul of the gargoyle so those kinds of things you can add in this one i didn't do it correctly but you get the thing hopefully so let's start let's do one with me so this is the issue where i just keep going back and forth and back and forth so let's see what i wrote let's see how good it is and we'll rate it out of 10 i know it's probably gonna be like two or something me messed up honestly this is bad so let's start again Somehow you need to finish that in So the, that is the ending bit So somehow we have to fix that And stay in the top This is what makes me really sad because it's really hard to do it. See, that's where I go. I start going around in circles again. So, let's try to limit it. If you are not having this problem, then you can probably just skip ahead a little bit when I get to the fast stuff. Whatever. So, how would I 
say how I'm doing this. So when I'm doing this really long one, I just keep on going. I don't stop. I'm just going over and over. I will be making like a billion mistakes when I'll be doing it. I My talo will be bad. I might go to a wrong solo for some reason. I'm not able to go to ma properly. And then that's when I come up, try to come up with any type of um, pattern. So I think in this one it is... So you're just going to have to try to figure out some kind of um, pattern to finish it off. Uh, should I try? Should we try some second color? Let's try a little bit of second color. So in second color, and if you're here, you should probably know that each talo has four notes in it. So I would have one, two, three, four, one, two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So I have to fit fourteen. So it's basically the double of what you were doing before. So, so somehow I need to fit in fourteen, but you also don't need to do all of it. So you can go. This is where I have given myself that ending in gamma because I know that whatever happens, I need to come back to gamma here. It just makes it easier for me to figure out my things. I can't see what I've written. It's what have I written? So this is where the writing comes. Because honestly, in second color, writing out is much easier than coming it up with it on your own because when you're going at you know breakneck speed you're gonna have to figure out how to come back with to this ending so it's just easier when you've written it down that you know where you need to go and then once you're in that mindset you can kind of go on with it so that's where i've got some uh, one arvasano stuff, and then I move on to two. Then he got his own, got his own, he got funny the bummer, got it. Got my palo, coupa, loco, need a bummer, funny, need a bummer, the bummer, bummer, got it. Got my palo, coupa, loco, need a son, he got his own, he got his own, he got his own, he got his own, he got his it's just easier for me to finish with Gari Gama. It's because it gives me, like, it just gives me that notification in my head that I am where I need to be and that's how I need to finish it. And yes, I have my long ones that are still bothering me to come up with some long stuff and it's just hard. But. With fast ones, with the long ones, I think it's just the same as first. You just have to keep going. You're going to make a, so many mistakes, and it's okay to make mistakes because we're just practicing. We're practicing. We're allowed to make mistakes. Um, but I think if you are like starting off, I'm pretty sure most people are not starting off, but if you are, you can um, just start off with a few Avatanos and then kind of go into long ones once you figured out um, 
patterns. So I came up with a pattern that I use a lot of times and I don't think my teacher remembers it. I just keep using it and I keep making mistakes every single time. So I, <laughs> I have like, um, sunny the knees, sunny the sunny the bunny the knees, da 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 and also, it's also just really fun to um, end in a very dramatic Use your whole body to finish it. Um, I'm not going to lie. I feel like I'm. that was not so helpful. More, it was just me complaining about Kalpana Swados and why I can't get it properly. But, yeah, I think just make it easy for you. Make it so that you have just... Half, if you're doing Adi Tala, you can do the fir- last half, so you can just keep it to four, make it easy for yourself. Uh, you don't have to start at the very beginning, you can start whenever you can. Then you can concentrate on one swada, come up with a few different patterns for it in just that one swada, and then you can move on to the next one. You just have four or five for each swada in first one. First kalo, one avasana, four or five for every swada, and then you can move on to two, doing the same pattern, and keeping it within four, three, four, five swadas, so you don't go too much too further, and you can just keep going back and forth, because there should be so many um, different uh, combinations that you can do, and then just start going into third, three avasanas, and then I think after that, is when you just start doing those super long phrases and that's when you can really show the essence of the rago you can start getting really into it and do those long pauses you can do different patterns that you want to do and then just i know like if you were a child you can count how many but if you're not a child then you'll have to do it the hard way but you have that ending, like for me, it's Gadi Sani, Gadi Sani, Dari Sani, Dapa Sani, Dapa Mapa Luku Paluku. So I know that I need to hover around Ga or Sariga, and then I have to come to Ga here so that I can finish it off. And then I can just start on to my second kalo, and then you can do the same thing that you did for your first kalo into your second column and see how that goes and then i think maybe next time i will try to do more of the long stuff because that's that's where i'm really struggling but this is what i did for my um, smaller bits and i found it to be very helpful and you know i'm able to have that back and forth with my teacher when we're doing i can give one and he can give one and it's the longer ones that I am struggling with and also I think um, what I'm having issues with is the second color where you need to end in da da so for example it's like deni pada ma pa ga ma pa ni da da sa ni ni da pada ma pa da ni da da sa ni da ni re ga ma pa ni da da so those things that come in between the your long swaddles and then your very last swaddle you have to finish in the other so i think that's another type of pattern that you have to come up with in the middle of that so you know it's all just very tiring so i think mm, hopefully that was at useful even just a little bit but i think next time i will do like all the long ones so thank you i hope this is my new mic. It doesn't have a stand, but thank you. Um, I will see you when I see you. See ya.